I'm really curious, like, who we think is needing to pop off for KCP because, like, in, in my mind, like, I feel like they did so well when they just had, like, Rapid kept being kind of upfield and, like, receiving crazy passes uh, and just being super speedy and going ham. Like, I feel like that's a good style for him, but I wonder if, like, you know, they feel like they've tried to get safer lately and that maybe that's pulled off. I don't know what your, what your thoughts are. Well, you know, I'm going to say, Dazrin, before you leave, Oh, he already left. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I was going to try to get who's the MVP from Dazarin. But he just, he straight up left us. Just pieced it. He's hes over us, James. He's left us alone to our own devices. And now we get, Leaf, it's been forever since I've casted with you. This is amazing. I know. Oh, I was going to say, I was about to apologize that, that you have to do it again. <laughs> no, I mean, well, it's, it's a treat. Oh, that flip reset from one to Mike. Thought he almost had that one. Wonder Mike, I've watched him in the grid so many times, and I'll never forget the one series where we played against United. It went the distance, or NRG went against United, went the distance, and it was Wonder Mike popping off. And that is an example of why he blasted that upper 90 from midfield. I just, the, the amount of power he got off that, look at that. Side flip into there. Was that a, um, a, a canceled? flip side maybe that was just a side flip but that was just beautiful power i don't know how he got that much power off that that One shot too. Is, he just has mechanical excellence full yeah. full control of his car when you watch a player who has that next level of car control it is it's fun to see one to mike one of those players well that's a good start for e united early goal they almost getting a, another one too they're taking these long pot shots at the offense right now seeing how kcp is going to deal with that how they transition backwards and they're they're it allows them to hold on to that midfield just a little bit better and kind of keep taking those pot shots and try to find a chance to wear it down but they do give them space rapid tries to get one out beast mode with a follow-up and no finish the defense from united gets back in time this is a best of seven to remind everyone We've had a lot of games go to best of seven in front of that rapid goes for the bump memory can't put it through it's on the goal line stopped i don't know how that stayed out was that was that was that tristan who saved that how did that even i have to see a replay on that you I saw no. on the goal line what i think was it ajax who just gave up he just said well there's nothing what she could do and another save on the goal line from tristan tristan is crazy United, they, I don't know how they did not give that up there. That was almost a hopeless situation on the goal line. Well, I mean, you saw it. <laughs> to, to one of the players, it kind of was. <laughs> he just he sat there. He literally stopped. It's one of those moments where you, you think that, okay, this is certainly a goal. And then you're like, oh, I guess I'll keep playing. I, I suppose the timer will not stop. And it hasn't after that first goal. Halfway through game number one, United still holds the lead. I'm surprised that they do. Based off those two goal line pushouts, Tristan, the clutch factor in both of those. Now Rapid is just looking for any kind of play generation. That pops out nicely for beast mode. And that's what it's been, Rapid and beast mode on that offense. Memory's just kind of playing support, saying, hey, I'll do what I can to make sure you guys get back, get boost, and try again. There it is, Rapid, beast mode. Yet again, sharking for a play. Beastman will have memory, but memory expecting it. Almost lost out in a chance to turn around on that one, and that'll turn around, counterattack. One of Mike is so fast on this field, like he's always jumping on any play opportunity that he gets. Yeah, it, it, it's been that case for multiple players from Ian. Do you think Tristan on the defensive end, even Ajax breaking up the play, but one to Mike certainly speedy. And it's gonna be tough for the Pioneers to break through this. But with Beast Mode and Rapid at the tip of the spear, you can expect some chances to leak out to Memory. And if Memory can get a clear shooting opportunity, his accuracy is, uh, it is really good. He's one of the best shooters out there in terms of placement. Beast Mode almost trying to get a, a read there. To drop that one in. Demo plays. This is the, the desperation. You knew Double inevitably these were going to come in. Yeah, Memory as well getting on that physical play train. I think they're just getting desperate. You look at that final minute coming in and they've, they've tried most of the things that they could think of before going for those demo plays to try to get a scoring opportunity and none of them came to fruition. 
So they go for the physical plays, and even yet, they can't find that scoring lane, that opening that they need to tie this and at least try to bring it into overtime. United is doing a good job of staying spread out and covering most areas of the field. Oh. Tristan, well, the other another save, that one was a little bit easier than previous ones. And look at the cutoff too, shutting down those angles, making sure to meet that guy out there is actually just gonna roll in from Tristan off a of 50-50. Well, watch, watch. Ajax comes oh. in and it looks like, it, yeah, it skipped off of Ajax's wow. hood as well to get that little extra bit of pace and uh, also leveled out that ball so it would, would roll in easier. So that was yeah. uh, <laughs> a heads up play there from Ajax. And that's going to secure game number one for E United at this point. There's no chance for KCP to bring this one back. Whether they get our goal or not, we'll have to try again in game number two. And it, it, it seems to have been tough for them to find any scoring lanes. You know, it, it didn't feel like they were being stuck on their own end or anything. That, that to me, wasn't the problem. The problem was that there was no openings on the United defense, really. Maybe that one there when the ball was sitting on the goal line. But beyond that, it felt like KCP was constantly looking for an answer to to throw that ball to the back of the net and, and they're gonna have to find some openings and generate those they even tried with demos and they still couldn't find an answer james yeah the demos and, and also tristan you saw six saves a double savior medal from tristan mm -hmm. and that one play where uh i think ajax it, it, it might have been one of my gave up on the goal line <laughs> just they, they stopped driving the car stopped because it, they accepted mm -hmm. the reality that that was going to be a goal and then tristan pinched that out and uh, managed to get a few more saves. I and mean, we have it here. It. Look at it was, yeah, Ajax just gives up. And then Tristan's like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm going for it. <laughs> he just, I mean, to literally stopped driving. To be fair, uh, in that position, I mean, like, there's not much he can do because if he, if he starts driving out, what if he bumps into a teammate that is turning around to save it? You know, if he backs up, he puts it in his own net. So honestly, yeah, I think the best. Sometimes you just have to stay put. And that's, yeah. that is tough, Leaf. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the, the decision to be like, do I do something or is doing nothing doing the best thing? Sometimes and in that case, it's just waiting. Please. It's patience. No, patience. Patience is, is key. Now, KCP will have to try from game number two to at least get a goal. They were shut out in the first one, 2-0 for United. United defense looking super strong again besides that one <laughs> little thing there that they managed to pull out and pull back from KCP needs control they need teamwork they need United to not be so strong on defense and there's one to Mike I, I talked to you how he loves to jump on everything he's the third man but he sees Tristan moving back and knows he can dive for this what a shot and you see you know, it's preposterous that he was able to shoot that on target. Wanda Mike had to manipulate his car. You saw him air roll and side flip into that to get a hard shot on net. That that was not a very average shot. That was a very difficult shot, considering where one Wanda Mike had to take yeah. the shot from to get it placed there. Excellent car control, excellent placement. Wanda Mike, that was that that looked maybe not that impressive if if you're newer or you're not as familiar with how angles work on the shooting aspect of the game but that was a very difficult shot ajax threaded the needle well and it, it came down to again even a, a millisecond earlier he hit that with the front of his car good chance he misses that shot on target from memory we're seeing a little bit more offense from them great pass down from rapid off the ceiling follow up here from memory again that'll be off backboard rapid a little bit too far back to get a rebound so we'll wait for that push out there Ajax will get the save and finally clear down the other end of the field. Rapid boosted up. Should be able to move this down, but no. Good read from Wanda Mike. You see a lot more high-flying plays from KC now. They said, if we can't get it on the ground, we can't get it from the corners. Let's get up in the air and see if we can start to get those plays speeding towards those backboards and oh, get some rebounds. You said it. The bump there. Tristan's ball is just going to roll on through. Yeah, Ajax carried that upfield. Tristan 
tap in that Ajax. Ooh. That was a complete removal. He got bodied on the goal line. That bump, that cleared the way. United is looking really good. And this is something that uh, is tough to play against. A team that's very fast, challenging every ball. Also going for those bumps on the goal line. That's that's a style of play that makes Space Station so deadly. United taking a similar approach, and it's very effective at the moment. Yeah, honestly, I think this is this is the play style that I think United had been looking for for a while. They thought bringing one to Mike on would have been the answer to all their their problems, uh, but it wasn't enough. Then they bring Tristan on, and now I think they found a good <laughs> spot. Uh, and maybe a little bit of luck here too. But United, they're doing the right things. KCP uh, clearly is not. I mean, do you fault memory here? He's expecting the 50 not to go literally in the worst spot it possibly could, right on target, uh -huh. lower corner. Memory was was playing as if that 50 was going to go anywhere else. I guess, you know, the blame really comes down to, I, I do think the timing of the game too. I mean, you are down goals. If it was a closer game, I'd be blaming them a bit more, but you do need to start getting goals now at this point because you're still shut out. You have yet to score one in the series. Uh, you know, you're down 5-0 when it comes to the scoreline across the games. Yeah, you, you kind of get antsy to at least get one in and maybe that desperate attempt is what well, you need. So. There's sometimes situations, Leaf, in any game where you see a 50-50, you see a 50-50 coming up. Like, you know yeah. that your teammate's going to be going up against somebody from the other team. And oh my God! Goodness, Tristan blasted that by. There were two defenders in net. Look at that pass, though. Setting it up on a tee. Tristan, I would have I, loved to see that go in uncontested to know how fast it was. But, man, yeah. United looking deadly. I feel like Wanda Mike has some hacks on. Every single one of his touches, <laughs> whether he flips into it or not, is just a banger in any direction that he puts it. Yeah, and, and well, well placed as well. Great precision from one to Mike. But what I was saying, Leaf, mm -hmm. is that you know sometimes there will be situations in game in the game where you can play worst case or best case. And yep. sometimes if you you know if you play best case, you're trying to be aggressive. You're hoping that it, it goes well so that you can have a scoring opportunity. And that's exactly what Memory was doing. He was yeah. playing it as if Rapid was going to win that challenge so that he could be in position to get to the ball first and maybe Absolutely. get that scoring opportunity. And I agree with you. There is a point in the game. Where you just have to take those chances. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't I don't blame memory too much. Not on that one, no. 4-0 down now with a minute left. Gonna have to say United is uh, in a good position to take game number two. Um, KCP still shut out. I think at this point I, I would like to see them get a goal. I mean, after you're not scoring for so long, it really starts to wear on you mentally, saying like, what are we doing? that we can't even get a goal. And it's not necessarily that, that they're causing the problems. It's that United is doing a great job of keeping that speed up. You see one to Mike everywhere on the field getting to that ball. And you have to know that you have to deal with the potential chance that he's there, but they're finally going to find one. An answer for KCP to the long awaited goal. A pass from beast mode to memory and just a follow up off that rough rebound from Tristan and they get their first that that and that was a very good pass from beast mode even the the handbrake turn that beast mode executed mm -hmm. to get a nice turn be in position to get that first hit and the pass to memory beast mode could have been selfish could have gone for the solo play but dished it over to memory in memory if he shoots that in that situation it looked like Tristan would have had it covered so it was key that it bounced off the backboard and beast mode ready to clean things up so the Pioneers showing a bit of life. And I and we know, Leaf, we know that they have what it takes to take down the United, but things have just not been going their way so far. And a reminder just for this series as well, much like that V1 Alpine match, this is an elimination match. This is to go on to Saturday. Loser of this is done. Their journey for the main event is over. And then the winner will go face Rogue later on just for their seeding to see whether they're in the upper or the lower bracket of that Saturday. So United, knowing what's on the line here, is putting all of their effort into this. I think this is good, though, James, for KCP at this point to at least get a goal to say, hey, we've, we've pushed up. We finally found one small solution. Now, is that a permanent solution? I feel like that was very situational. Uh, I, I don't know, but 
You know, the, the passing plays, I like to see it, but they had been going for those before when they were failing. The speed is there, but then one to Mike meets them in every single spot that, <laughs> that they put that ball. So really the, the answer is, for, for KCP right now is very hard to find. I'm curious if you have any insight, any, <laughs> any coaching that you may want to give, or if, if you may just be as lost as they are on the field. I mean, you know, I get paid to be a, a caster most of the time, play by play. So I mean, <laughs> yes. do I know better than the pioneers? No, I don't. But one thing that I am seeing down there is, is the speed is there for United and mm -hmm. the pioneers, when they're playing really well, they are a very fast team. It's just, you know, we saw what happened. The game got out of hand a bit early on the fifties, not going their way. Uh, yeah. The pioneers, maybe they do just need to play a bit more conservative where instead of assuming best yeah. case, assume worst case and and maybe you slow it down go in for a few fakes i think now is when you just start to experiment try different things and see if you can break down this e united defense at all but tristan he was a brick wall in game one you saw six saves yeah and uh and the passes from one mike really have been very good one mike's just having a good series and when he's having a good series sometimes there's nothing you can do no really when someone makes all the right decisions <laughs> and the those are the decisions they're making are the 50s that they're going up against you for. <laughs> what do you do? And one of them, like, with a uh, entourage yeah. in tail there. And but and th this is one of those situations, Leaf, where sometimes it's better to not even hit the ball. You saw Memory tap that down, and it, it was an easy bouncer in front of the defense, who was all there for United. They're, you, they're all there. Sometimes it's better to just not hit the ball and rotate back, because when you give... When you give them that bounce pass, it's like home run derby, throwing in a little lob. And you can't be surprised when somebody blasts it over center field, when you give them a perfect lob down the middle of the plate. That's exactly mm -hmm. what happened there. Memory, that light tap, giving away possession, allowing e United to be in that situation where they would have a very good counterattack. One goal up for e United in the first minute. Game number three, if they win this one, it'll set it to match point which is exactly what they're looking for to get on to that final day, a long roller. One of Mike will get back in time. It was an opportunity for KCP to have no a tight goal. Ooh. Rapid. Desperately reaches for that. Keeps control too, which is the important thing. It wasn't just a push away that went straight back to United. He was able to generate something out of that. So good touch from Rapid, but they're going to need something a little bit more some togetherness to bring this up the field. And you're right, maybe just slowing it down and taking control defensively to move it up the field is is going to be the answer for them instead of just trying to match speed with speed. Oh man, Tristan is causing havoc there. One to Mike again, making a pass right to him. Ajax has also been playing brilliantly. If you think back to the bump play that he got, going for the air dribbles that set up a, a rebound goal. All of United participating in this uh, series so far that has resulted in multiple game victories. Now the one goal lead and they're they're controlling the pace right now. They most certainly are and that's what KCP needs to do. Just take control. Remember he's going to try to do that. He's got beast mode behind. Will there be a rebound down? Nope. Missed read. Beast mode will try to another center for rapid this time. But the speed on defense from United just keeps clearing that ball one after another. Ooh, that could be a good 50 back to Rapid. Oh, finish oh, no, off the crossbar and out. No finish. Oh, no, are you? Off the post. <laughs> and they can't find a break. KCP, a desperate attempt, and the goalposts save United. Hey, that's that's a sigh moment. Audible sigh, I'm sure, <laughs> takes place in the comms. That should have been a goal. That was such a good pass. That was such a good pass over to the left side. The shot should have been in at that point. And even the rebound off the post. And Tristan punishes the Pioneers for failing to score. E United are having a field day. Rapid sends that one straight into Tristan as he just captures that one close. Dooms he does it straight into that left side. Two goals down. KCP just ripping their hair out now after the attempts missed and the turnaround from united one goal to their name in this series it is that's, that's devastating leaf that's yeah. devastating to have a to have a situation like that you're in a in a in a series that's already not going your way you're down by two you have 
an opportunity to tie the game. It's a beautiful look. In fact, it's a routine play to score and to blast it off the crossbar like that. No, another save. Rebound again is saved. E United. I don't know how they're managing to keep all these shots out. They're playing a heck of a defensive game. It's the patience. You look how patient they're being on defense. They're just waiting to react to any of these touches that come in and playing it slow. Instead of just slamming the ball back to that next shooter, they're kind of just keeping it nice and close. <laughs> A musty, I think, from one to Mike to flick that one in. Three goals for United. He's clipping on him. Look at that. The light first touch. You get the, the right angle on your car. One to Mike. Do you doubt his mechanics, Leaf? Do you doubt him? I never did. I've seen, I've seen him good. play. That's good. Because if you did, they should have all been eliminated with that play. One to Mike. Looking so good today. Passing, shooting. And that must, he just must eat on the Pioneers. That hurts, that stings. Oh, it does sting. And you see how angry they're getting now. Memory is like, I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna blow them up and maybe an opportunity will land in my lap. And yet it doesn't. United recovers immediately after that. See what memory does here. He keeps it close. No boost. He fakes out the boost. Wave dash for the demo. Follow up. And there's nothing there. Memory at least keeps the play alive. They got the boost still too. This may be an opportunity for them. Final 17 seconds. They need a goal. Otherwise, it's match point for United. I feel like at this point, they may be looking at a full reverse sweep, James, to be able to take this against United. And, and from what I've seen from United, I'm going to say that ain't going to be easy. Ain't gonna be easy at all. I mean, it doesn't really matter who you're playing. If there's a team good enough to take three games off you, you yeah. don't want to be in the situation where you have to win four straight. So this is gonna be a, a really tough situation now for the Pioneers who are facing elimination. If you if you lose this, you finish 0-2. Uh, it's, it's not gonna look good for you. You know, that's not a good look at all. So tough situation now. E United... They're in the driver's seat and they're looking really good, especially one to Mike. That that musty, <laughs> that when you clip on somebody with a musty, you know that that's like knocking somebody down to the ground. They may stand back up, but the fight you can tell that fighter's time is numbered. It is numbered. Yeah, it's it's kicking them kicking them while they're down too. You know, it it it's definitely something that KCP takes into factor in their mental state and saying we're they're they're doing this to us right now. And we have no answers. We've tried, and they've tried multiple things. I, for KCP, it's so hard because you have tried passing plays. You've tried to speed up the play. You've tried to go aerial. You've tried your corner plays. You've tried your infield passing plays. You've tried your demo plays. You've done it all. And then it, it still gets shut down by the players on United. They're, United's playing so smart defensively, just so patient. And, and uh, again, smart, I said it. We're going to say it again because that's what it's been. Um, and then when they move to offense, the speed that you see players like Wanda might get, and yeah. then the mechanics to follow it up. The mechanics, they are they are looking really good for E United, but the Pioneers also have mechanics. The, the surprising thing for me is how they're missing their chances, especially yeah. the wide open chances. You can't really do that in a series. <laughs> now one banging off the crossbar as well. You can't miss those and expect to win, especially when a team, what? I thought Ajax was gonna <laughs> I thought he was going to breezy. It did look like it, yeah. A musty and a breezy. The Pioneers would probably just rage quit at that point. But the Pioneers, they continue to attack the corners. They continue to back, attack the backboard without much success. The passes of, of where they've had the best opportunities, but then they don't score. You know, they, they have the look and they don't score. It's just not the Pioneers' best day. I mean, I I gotta I gotta say I'm I'm worried about this too. You know, I'm, I'm happy for United and how well or how good they're looking on the field, but Rapid is my teammate in the crew battle later. I need him to be on point. <laughs> to be fair, we are playing capture the flag, so uh, yeah, different. <laughs> and you know what? He might be motivated to make more money. That's true. That's true. All right, I, I'm. This was some pinball between memory and beast mode here beast mode right. goes for the pass but then steals it right back that the was KCP. almost disastrously almost. they could have pinched that outwards 
off the post or off the crossbar even being that close for a 50 50. you're, you're imagine wet. beast mode blocks that blocks that shot <laughs> that so, would have been nope. i think it at that point yeah pioneers they're they're looking to maybe survive in this and it, it i could see the pioneers be a team that can come back if rapid in beast mode and memory if they all start you know making the most of their opportunities or one of them decides hey i'm gonna start trying to make some solo plays happen any one of them really has that in them and so united this isn't over yet we'll see how they finish this one out that's true we still have a lot of time left and only one goal down with their kind of control that we've seen uh, on the field for the last three games there's a very good chance this turns back to a tie game unless the answer has finally been found from kcp it's a good drop down there but rapid wasn't ready for it i wonder if that third man's position he might have something to do with it they might have had a stronger attack had they played for the win but you're right you know they, they were playing for the wins before on those and it wasn't going well for them so it's it's when it starts going right for you do you adjust back or you know, what do you, what do you do? It's so confusing sometimes. You just keep keep your notes with the grindstone. Stay with whatever the game plan is. And stay positive. Approach every 50, just one, one moment at a time. You know, each shot at a time. And just focus on, on making the right play. I mean, it's such a long road at this point. You can't really think about the big picture. You just got to see what's in front of you and execute. Yeah. Goal by goal. That's really what it is. And I've heard a few players, too mention that and it, it really is the the play just to say well you know we're just playing rocket league and let's get a goal I mean, that's our objective let's do that it doesn't matter how much time is left on the clock for the most part and that's what they're doing right now kcp nab another one off of maybe a misplay here we saw that boost grab and tristan just couldn't get back in time after that and that shot was placed nicely from memory yeah, Wanda Mike was trying to get that ball out of harm's way, but didn't do a good enough job. And, uh, and and that was a good punishment from the Pioneers who are who are taking it to them now, getting these chances in front of net, and they're putting them away. They haven't been the, the prettiest of goals, but they've been effective, and I think, I think they can do this. I think the Pioneers, if they can start hitting their rhythm, I, I wouldn't say that it's impossible. Oh, I certainly wouldn't either. Just a, a long and and tiresome uh, journey back to an even series here that honestly most Great players shot. would have trouble with but KCP have stepped it up three goals to their name now outscoring themselves across the rest of the series in just one game and a read off that bounce memory gets the double tap off the ground to put it away and, and that's such a good shot you get above the ball a lot of times people are expecting you to hit it off the bounce you know, just make square contact with it. Memory jumps up and gets above the ball to take a lower angle on the shot. And it surprised the defense. And, you know, even if the defense knew exactly where it was coming, it would have, it's just, a, it was just a tough save. It was really well placed. So the Pioneers, this was a statement game. And they're going to have a lot more confidence after this one. Oh, absolutely. Now, I wonder, though, if that confidence comes back to bite them. As you see, you know, like all the players saying, you know what, we can score, let's just go for it. And you end up in situations that, that get punished themselves. We'll have to find out, but so far it's working. 45 seconds left, three goals up. We should have a win here and attempt to climb, but we will have a win here from KCP as a fourth one goes in. Uh, as they do have to do this reverse sweep, a reminder that their tournament lives are on the line right now. Tristan. <laughs> Did he hit the, it looked like he yeah, got tripped yeah. up on the post a bit. But also, Rapid turned very quickly on that, and uh, that was that was smart. Rapid had picked up the mid boost. He actually cut off one of his teammates to pick up the mid boost and take that ball. But staying in the play was what led to that goal. He quickly uh, turned, got the second attempt on it, and got that pass down to Beast Mode. Four goals up, KCP. In a better spot, we're going to have to find out how United answers. I mean, all they were doing was playing their game before this. It's always what you want to do until someone, you know, gets a win off you and starts to break that apart. Then you make the adjustments only if necessary. I'd say now at this point, that will be necessary for game number uh, five. As KCP take the fourth one, staving off an attempted sweep from United. KCP will go for the reverse sweep to keep their tournament dreams alive.
And the Pioneers looking much, much better this game. Finding an answer to the United attack. And this is, I think they can replicate this. The Pioneers, you know, beast mode I thought was really good. Memory shooting yeah. was there as well. I think memory and beast mode, if I, if I had to put my money on the players that are going to help them get back in, I do think it's one of those two who will have a step up MVP performance. It could be either one of them. Memory, you know that his mm -hmm. shooting is there. He's really good. But beast mode is a player for me who, who uh, I love watching have great series. You know, beast mode, especially on the dribbles. We already saw what he he can do. So I would love to see an opportunity for him to maybe get some space, go for the dribble plays, even if he misses a flick. A lot of times, what you can do if you're if a if you're a player who loves to dribble is you dribble it in the midfield. You make that first player miss, and then you're isolated in that one v one in net. And if you go for the flick and you're able to to get that backward bounce and and also make the defender commit to trying to jump for the save, a lot of times you can generate rebound goals for your teammates that way. And Beast Mode has already showed us that he knows how to dribble. We're going to find out if that happens. The tactic is employed, or deployed, sorry. I guess if they pay, it could be employed. But in game number five, as they just took the last one, attempted reverse sweep on e United. E United, the one to make changes now for this next game. KCP clearly made some sort of adjustment that worked for them. question is will it work coming into this next game and you know this is big nerves for the pioneers this is elimination for them they lose this yep. they're out and then rapid is going to have to focus on the uh on the games with you leaf yeah maybe it's for the better <laughs> we get it <laughs> that's where the big money is right yeah that big yeah that's that's <laughs> the next payday winning with leaf carrying leaf i guess more more appropriately phrased First minute by now their team with a scoring chance. The ball's been on the side of the field, honestly, for the most part here. Neither one of the teams finding anything down center. And an attempted shot turns into a flop there for one to Mike. The ball will be brought the other way down. That pass almost making it straight out center to beast mode. But as it doesn't, he'll back off, play that third man, allow memory and rapid try to generate something. Something we've seen, I was seeing rapid do a lot of, and you actually called out one of them too, but a lot of those cuts, he was doing a lot. And if his teammates adjust to those cuts better, they may have a little bit more sustained offense. I really do think if, if rapid's just let to go ham, hey, sometimes that's when he shines. Yeah, leave, leave him up there and uh, let him surprise the defense. Mm -hmm. He is a very, he's a quick player, lives up to his name. Yeah, Rep is fast. As long as he's got boost, he can be a nuisance. So I, the, you know, give him space and let him get that mid boost and see what he does. Who would be the third to rapid in speed? Gosh, really, I'd have to turtle about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you get for every two fast players, you got to have that player in the back who's slowing yeah. things down. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's funny too because when turtle was playing. I would always talk about how patient of a player he was. He would slow down the pace of the play. It was true. All these players living up to their name. We've seen beast mode do that too before. Just go straight beast mode. We need to see that now. As they are still in the middle of this reverse sweep over at United. United is looking good right now though. They're not getting scored on and that is a, that is an important factor to winning which means they've done something to hold KCP off for a little while here. Ooh, Wonder Mike lost a bit of control of that. If he had taken that, he could have maybe moved that downfield up the other wall, but and, uh, instead there's going to be an attempt from KCP on a scoring chance here. Beast Mode solo rapid oh, was on target. Wonder Mike was forced to save that one. United, we talked about their strong defense before. It's now being put to the test. KCP is running hard on these boot starvations. And this pressure finally United breaks out with boost to boot. No, no, that's an important challenge right there. Comes back to Tristan. And now KCP low on boost. This could be good for United. Oh, follow up. Tristan is going to get it. The double tap didn't quite sneak under the crossbar. And there's going to be the first goal of this game, which could be 
the tournament winner or well, group winner for them. Important Casey. to avoid elimination. And, and that play, you saw the, the double tap from one to my made memory jump. Memory was going for the save and it was a backward pass. That That is a perfect play to beat out the defense. And we were talking about how United, they were low on boost, but their defense held up. On the other end, it, that wasn't the case for the Pioneers. When boost started to get dry, we saw a missed uh, backward reap from beast mode that left that lane open for one to Mike. And the Pioneers, not as polished as we've seen them in the past, but United, you know that they've got this in them, especially when they're playing well, and they are playing well today. As a banger of a shot saved by Tristan, a lot of their saves just been goal line. The pressure has been on from KCP and 30 seconds remaining. They're gonna have to do it tournament lives on the line and the dream of staying alive gets further and further away as united sinks a second one wanda mike is pulling out the helicopter as well the double tap off the ground the follow-up was precision to yeah, put he, that one away he's been doing that a lot lately if you watch him play wanda mike could double tap it off a flagpole you know and he don't <laughs> You make it hard on him, it doesn't matter. Wonder Mike finds a way, and there is some life. Beast mode gets that in. I was thinking that United would clear this off the back line, but that mid-air demo made things ridiculously difficult. Tristan, you know, <laughs> I don't think he really had a shot at that. One goal left, 17 seconds left. It is getting down to the wire. They've had an assignment all week and they decided to do it right before midnight five seconds left they need control but that pop-up puts the ball out of reach of rapid just staying on the ground i don't know how that one stayed up <laughs> and another one for one to mike to just add wow that final punish and he united will take it memory trying to keep the ball in play he did wonderfully Unfortunately for him, Wanda Mike was next in line to take the shot. E United, a convincing win yeah. over the Kansas City Pioneers, who have been eliminated from this summit event. That's unfortunate for the Pioneers, but for E United, they're going to take this, get a little bit of confidence heading into their seeding decider match against Rogue. Yeah, this is uh, this was almost a good comeback from KCP. They had some answers, not enough. We're going to break down what those answers could have been, should have been. We're almost right after this break. Rocket League Summit 2 is back. And we nice. are back. I'm back. And I'm actually here. I can converse with my coworkers for a little bit here before Leaf goes on another yeah, time. Yeah, I'm just until I start talking. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I just went in. No, I mean, it was fine. It made my job easy. I just had to read a sponsor. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> but... uh. You guys end up sitting in there in that last matchup. E United with a 4-1 victory against KC Pioneers. I want to talk about that a little bit. That's actually a, quite a big win for E United. Yeah, you know, I uh, Daz, I've been watching E United for a while, and I, I've been a fan of this team. I've seen what they could do, even against teams like NRG. These these guys are the real deal. That, that series versus zero issue, I think they caught some flack from that. But if you watch... Pretty much every other series that United is in, they make every series they're in competitive. They are consistently good, and they're they're beating these teams that are trying to make it uh, to the top. Like the Pioneers, they're a very good team. They're a team who's made deep runs in tournaments, uh, a well-respected team, and they they beat them up pretty bad in this series. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's honestly been um, a treat to watch them this game because like we we were waiting for this for so long. A lot of people were wondering. You know what they needed to get back i kind of touched on it in the game there too uh daz when it when it was like you know we're talking about one to mike joining that's the answer right no okay then tristan joins that's the answer and now that they've played together just a little bit you know they're, they're finding where and when to put that that speed out yeah you know a lot of the a lot of times when a new roster forms and they find success uh players refer to it as a honeymoon period mm -hmm. i feel like it's the opposite for e united right they formed and you know you bring one to mike into the roster not doing too well you bring tristan in too uh oh, cool. and, and you you see them start off struggling but now it seems that they've finally figured out how to work together and we're seeing them come out with a lot of good results casey pioneers is a really good team but I mean, it seems like, at least from looking just at the highlight packages, if you guys ever miss a series, I mean, <laughs> Wonder Mike and crew showed up. Yeah. Dude, this that, 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 there was a couple plays, though, about like, Wonder Mike, 
He's a scorer. He he's a certified scorer. That, that the double tap off the ground, uh, and also the musty. Did you see the musty dash? Yeah. yeah. One of Mike was clipping, and then Tristan had the perfect doomsy dish. He he. It was right in the upper ninety. There was no way that it was gonna it's, get stopped. And he even tagged Doomsy on Twitter. BTS. <laughs> they tweeted out the play, and then. Tristan added Doomsy, and Doomsy said, "Nice, nice." <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you call Warner Mike a, a, a certified goal scorer. I think he's just a certified beat you to the ball almost every single time, uh, single time guy. Like he he's so fast and so mechanical that I'm glad that it's not just been that though. Like you know he's he's finding the right times to go for these things when he should be going for these things, and it's working so well for United. So they they got to be happy this win uh, over KCP. And and yeah. I also have to credit the the defense from Tristan. There was multiple stops mm -hmm. that Tristan made that were, you know, one of them almost seemed hopeless, and Tristan didn't give up on the ball. So Tristan, Ajax, everyone from E United playing their part, you know, I don't want to discredit them at all. When we talk about Wanda Mike so much, he is good, but E United, they're playing as a team. Uh, I love the defensive plays from them as well. We saw it come out, make multiple stops. Ajax even getting physical, going for bumps. It was all around good play from e United, and I have a lot of faith in this team. I think this team can be something. Yeah, it could. and it'd be interesting to see, you know, as we get ready to gear over into 2021, how that team performs as, you know, they seem to be ending the year on a high note. That's one team that's had a solid result today, but now we're going to go into two teams kind of battling it out here. We have a decider match here in Group A between the Knights versus Alpine. It's coming up next. We're going to cut to a short break, and we'll be back with more Rocket League action here at Rocket League Summer 2, Summit 2.